Faroe Islands, a land where dramatic cliffs plummet into the icy waters, where cozy villages cling to the rugged terrain, and where sheep outnumber people. Yes, that's just the beginning. From unique traditions and jaw-dropping landscapes to their peculiar form of self-governance, the Faroe Islands are a world of wonders waiting to be explored. You might think you know a thing or two about this place. But today, we're about to dive deep into the heart of these islands and uncover some truly surprising and mind-blowing facts that will leave you in awe. A rugged island group sitting proudly in the North Atlantic Ocean with stunning landscapes that'll leave you speechless. The Faroe Islands, also known simply as the Faroes, are like nowhere else on Earth. These islands, with their dramatic cliffs and rolling hills, are a nature lover's paradise. And hey, did I mention they're an autonomous territory of the Kingdom of Denmark? Imagine standing 320 kilometers north-northwest of the United Kingdom, about halfway between the awe-inspiring Norway and the captivating Iceland. That's where you'll find the Faroe Islands, a true gem in the vastness of the North Atlantic. And don't let the size fool you. These islands pack a punch with a total area of around 1,400 square kilometers. The Faroes aren't just a feast for the eyes. They have a rich cultural heritage too. With a population of around 54,000 as of June 2022, these islands are home to a vibrant community. The capital city, Torsham, is where the beating heart of Faroese culture resides. From traditional music to captivating festivals, you'll feel the rhythm of the Faroes in every corner. The weather here is like a mysterious dance. Windy, wet, cloudy, and cool. The suppler oceanic climate gives the Faroes its distinct personality. Thanks to the Gulf Stream's gentle touch, Temperatures hover above freezing throughout the year. Think cozy summers around 12 deg, 54 deg, and mild winters at around 5 deg, 41 deg. The Faroe's northerly latitude means you'll experience perpetual twilight during those enchanting summer nights. And in winter, while the days might be short, they're filled with a unique kind of charm that you won't find anywhere else. From 1035 to 1814, the Faroe Islands were part of the Kingdom of Norway, later forming a personal union with Denmark. The Treaty of Kiel in 1814 took Norway in a different direction, while Denmark held on to its Atlantic territories, which included the Faroes, Greenland, and Iceland. Fast forward to the present day, the Faroe Islands have been self-governing since 1948. Impressive, right? While Denmark takes care of certain aspects like defense and foreign affairs, the Faroes call the shots in most other areas. They even have their own trade policy, allowing them to strike up independent trade agreements with other nations. Oh, and did you know that the Faroe Islands field their own national teams in certain sports? Talk about a small powerhouse with a big heart. Plus, kudos to the Faroes for staying true to their roots. Unlike many, they've retained control over their fishing waters, choosing not to join the European Economic Community in 1973. Now that's what I call environmental stewardship. Number 1. 18 Main Islands 18 incredible islands, each with its own unique charm, shaped over eons by volcanic forces and the icy embrace of ancient glaciers. What's even more intriguing? These islands have an astonishing history that's etched into their very landscapes. Seventeen of these islands are alive with communities, buzzing with life and culture. Thanks to a network of paved roads, tunnels, bridges, and ferry lines, getting around these islands is like a journey through a picturesque dream. Defining an archipelago can be a bit like herding cats, but the Faroe Islands do it in style. With over 750 islands, islets and scaries, it's the core 18 main islands that truly steal the show. These islands are the heart and soul of the nation, each with its own story to tell. And guess what? Out of these 18, only one stands uninhabited, leaving the others to weave together a tapestry of tradition and modernity. Meet Stringoy, the largest of them all, and the bustling hub of the Faroe Islands. This island wears two crowns. Not only is it the biggest in size, 
but it's also home to the capital city, Torshan. Imagine waking up to the harmony of urban life amidst stunning natural vistas. This blend of old-world charm and modern vitality makes Stramoy a true gem in the pharaoh's crown. It's time to shine a spotlight on Eastroy, the second largest island. Can you believe it's not just size that's impressive here? With over 10,000 residents, Eastroy is where community thrives and stories come alive. Nature and culture coexist harmoniously on Eastroy, making it a place where the present whispers to the past and where every fjord and hill tells tales of resilience and tradition. Ever wonder about the origin of the name Faroe Islands? Well, here's the scoop. Foroyar, as the locals say, means sheep islands. It's a nod to the Norsemen who settled these lands back in the 800s. Imagine these islands as a haven for sheep, where Norse heritage and natural beauty collide. For generations, these islands remained isolated, a world unto themselves, until the tides of change brought them into the global spotlight. Fast forward to today, and the Faroe Islands have gracefully transitioned from seclusion to integration. With a thriving public sector, top-notch healthcare, and education, these islands stand as a testament to the power of progress. It's incredible to witness how these islands have embraced their future while holding onto their roots, creating a vibrant tapestry that's woven with care, equality, and a strong sense of community. Oh, and let's talk fish. The Faroe Islands are not just a feast for the eyes. They're a major player in the global fish market. Up to 95% of their export income comes from Faroe's fish products, and around 20% of their jib swims in from the sea. It's a symphony of sustainability and commerce, where the seas provide not just a living, but also a thriving economy that powers the nation's progress. The Faroe Islands aren't just about fishing and scenery. They're also becoming a hotspot for curious travelers. Almost half the population calls the capital city, Torshan, home. In Torshan, urban living is a blend of modernity and tradition. And guess what? The cherry on top. Their buses are absolutely free. That's right. Exploring the capital won't cost you a dime. Number two, more sheeps than people. There's an astonishing population fact here that might just blow your mind. Are you ready for it? In a land where nature reigns supreme, there are approximately 70,000 sheep calling the shots. Air, I mean meadows, of the Faroe Islands home. Now, here's the jaw-dropping twist. The last official human population estimate for these islands was just around 53,358. Yep, you heard that right. That's roughly half the population of Inglewood, California. Can you imagine? More sheep than people. It's like a real-life sheep-to-human ratio surprise party. So, where did this woolly army come from, you ask? Legend has it that these pharaoh's sheep, the four-legged residents of the islands, were introduced around the 9th century. They've since become masters of adaptation, thriving in the challenging year-round conditions that the Faroe Islands throw at them. Meadows. Check. Mountains. Check. Unpredictable weather. Double check. These hardy creatures have got it all under their fluffy belts. It's not just the Pharaoh's sheep that are hogging the limelight here. Let's give a warm welcome to some Scottish sheep and their crossbreed pals who decided to pack their bags and become part of this picturesque landscape. Back in the 19th century, these Scottish newcomers joined the party, adding even more diversity to the woolly community. Researchers have done some genetic detective work and uncovered something truly remarkable. Sheep dina lurking in lake bed sediments dating back more than 1,500 years. Can you believe it? These woolly wonders have been shaping the land and leaving their mark for centuries. Number 3. Buses are free to use in the capital. The stunning Torshiv municipality in the Faroe Islands boasts eight bus routes that you can ride without spending a single coin. Isn't that a traveler's dream come true? But here's the kicker. You might not even need those buses. Why, you ask? Well, hold on to your hiking boots because with just around 20,000 residents living in this charming municipality, most of the town's incredible sights are comfortably within walking distance. 
Imagine strolling through the picturesque streets, surrounded by colorful houses and the warm embrace of a tight-knit community. And don't even get me started on the local markets. You can get up close and personal with the heart and soul of this town, all while taking in the breathtaking landscapes. Traveling throughout the islands is a breeze on a budget, thanks to the government's heavy subsidies. And let's talk about those ferries. They're not just your typical mode of transportation. They're the lifeline connecting these unique island communities. These ferries don't just carry passengers. They carry stories, culture, and the essence of the Faroe Islands. The government's commitment to ensuring affordable travel has created an opportunity for you to explore the pristine landscapes, towering cliffs, and serene fjords that define this remarkable archipelago. So, whether you're wandering the streets of Torshav, embarking on a ferry adventure between islands, or simply soaking in the breathtaking panoramas, the Faroe Islands offer an experience that goes beyond the ordinary. It's a place where free buses and affordable ferries are just a glimpse of the surprises that await you. Number 4. Autonomous Territory of Denmark A cluster of enchanting islands nestled in the North Atlantic Ocean, boasting landscapes that seem straight out of a fantasy novel. But did you know that these islands aren't just any old travel destination? Nope. They're actually an autonomous territory of Denmark, and boy, does that fact pack a punch. When I say autonomous, I mean these islands are like the independent-minded adventurers of the Kingdom of Denmark. Just like Greenland, they form a self-governing overseas administrative division. That's right, they're calling the shots when it comes to a whole bunch of things. But hey, there's still one big happy family under the Danish umbrella. Let's rewind the history tape a bit. Back in the day, these islands were singing a different tune. They were a part of Norway for centuries. But then, in a plot twist that could rival any Hollywood movie, the 1814 Treaty of Kiel swooped in and handed the islands over to Denmark. Talk about changing alliances, right? These islands have been doing their own thing since 1948, strutting their stuff with their very own parliament. Can you believe it? They're like the cool kid in the Danish classroom who gets to make a lot of decisions. And you won't believe what's on their plate. They handle most areas of lawmaking, except for defense, policing, and foreign affairs. Those are the domains where Denmark still lends a helping hand. Danish might be on the curriculum, but Faroes is the rock star national language here. And guess what? Faroes isn't your run-of-the-mill language. It's like a cousin of Icelandic and Old Norse, with a dash of uniqueness that sets it apart from its Danish sibling. Can you imagine the linguistic adventures you could have here? Oh, and let's not forget the mula. The official currency is the Danish krone, but the Faroe Islands like to put their stamp on things. They have their very own local banknotes strutting their stuff around town. Talk about island flair. Number 5. Never far from the sea. Did you know that all major towns and villages with a population of more than a few hundred are located right along the coast? But wait, there's more. Brace yourselves for this. No point in the entire Faroe Islands is more than three miles away from the sea. That's right. You're never far from the sea, no matter where you are on these islands. Can you imagine waking up to the sound of waves crashing against the rocks every single day? Well, for the folks living on the Faroe Islands, this is their reality. It's like having a piece of the ocean right in your backyard. Let's take a journey through these charming coastal villages. From Klaxvik to Torshav, and everywhere in between, life here revolves around the mesmerizing waters that surround them. It's not just a location, it's a way of life, deeply intertwined with the rhythm of the ocean. Fishing isn't just an occupation here, it's a tradition passed down through generations. The sea provides the people of Faroe Islands with sustenance, livelihood, and a profound connection to nature. And speaking of sustenance, the seafood here is an absolute treat. With the sea so close, you can bet that the seafood is as fresh as it gets. From succulent salmon to tender cod, your taste buds are in for a treat that's as authentic as the island itself. And there you have it, my fellow wanderers. 
A surprising fact about the Faroe Islands that adds another layer of wonder to this already magical place. Remember, when you're here, you're never far from the sea, and that's not just geography. It's a way of life. If you're as captivated as I am, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, subscribe so you won't miss our next adventure together. Until then, keep exploring and keep being amazed. Take care.